My name is Sterling Hybeck. I'm a senior developer here at BizStream. And an example of the things that I would do on a daily basis would be to take third-party uh, applications, and they have a, an API that we can talk to and uh, integrate with their systems. Uh, I would be the communication hub between our software and third-party software, um, so we can talk together and pass information back and forth. So clients come to us often and ask how we can let people buy items from their online store or their website. And so they ask us for recommendations about what kinds of software to take their credit card information or billing information so they can make that transaction. So how would you make it easy for people to buy stuff on your website? So how I answer this question is I think about all of the websites that we interact with on a daily basis that already involve transactions and taking our money. Um, there are many options, um, Stripe and PayPal, uh, Google Checkout. Uh, those websites are things we use on a daily basis, and we may already have those websites set up with our information, uh, which means our users don't have to take that information or their, their information and type it in all over again when they come to my website. So what I want to do is pick one of those services that's trusted, um, that's probably going to be used more than any of the other systems, so I know that the client has a really good chance of already having their information set up. Um, I will then take the API to that system, integrate it into our website, so when my users put a t-shirt in their cart and they go to click the checkout button, uh, they get a really painless way to have a button that says, hey, we see your information is already registered with Google Checkout. Would you like to use your information, you say yes. It knows based on your email address that you're already registered. It just takes your money and you don't have to worry about putting your credit card information again. You don't have to remember it again. We remove this barrier of entry uh, where we have a lot of times people will stop at the shopping cart right before they get to click the pay now button because they think about the fact that now I'm typing in my credit card information again, boy, should I really make this purchase, uh, to make it easy and painless uh, and not to have to have them put that information in again. It's already done with one click. They get the money. Uh, it sort of helps them skip over that little step of maybe second-guessing themselves before they go ahead and make that purchase.